Hi everyone, in this video, I'll walk you through the setup you need to get started with the six weeks free YouTube data engineering bootcamp organized by data experts IO and hosted by the founder itself, none other than Zach Wilson. For setup, we are going to follow three simple steps. In the first step, we are going to clone the GitHub repository on our local machine. Then second step, uh, we are going to run the Postgres in Docker. In the third step, we are going to connect to Postgres in your database client. In my case, I'm using PG admin. Before getting started to do actual setup, there is a prerequisite. You must have installed the Docker and Postgres SQL on your local machine. So if you have done that, uh, let's get started with the setup. For the setup, I'm going to follow this readme file uh, where you find the commands, required commands and the steps to do so. Okay. The first step, we need to clone the GitHub repository in our local machine. For that, we have this command. Just copy that command. Uh, for that, I have created one uh, new folder in my D drive. And I'm you going to use the git bash. You can use PowerShell. There is no issue with that. Okay, I just paste the command here. Let me enlarge this. Okay, I'll paste that command here. Yeah. Here, the uh, here what we get an error as a permission denied there, there because we need to set up the SSH key for that. Okay, for that, we have to go to this website, uh, open link in new tab, go to this. Here, you will find a generate new SSH key, copy this command SSH key, Jane something something, paste that command here and replace this mail ID with your uh, GitHub mail ID. For me, it's Vishal251 at gmail.com. Okay, it will generate the SSH key. Yes, I want to save. Okay, I already have the uh, SSH key, so I create, overwrite that. Passphrase. I enter, enter. Okay. It will now it had generated the SSH key for us. We need to update this SSH key in our GitHub account. For that, we need to copy the SSH key, right? In order to copy that SSH key, we need to get another command. Uh, go to add a new SSH key. Here you will find for Windows, copy this command. Go to get bash. Paste that command and enter done the you need to we you didn't need not need to do anything it will copy the ssh key for you uh, go to your github account right go to your github account go to the settings in settings you will find ssh and gpg key click on new ssh key give any title uh, in case I get DE, paste that SSH key and add SSH key, give your password and confirm it will add the SSH key. Okay, you will see this kind of interface. Okay, the SSH key is added. That's it. Now go back to the, okay, no, now go back to the readme file or the clone command that we have used, right? Let me go back to this. Okay, here we are. Just copy that command, clone command. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, copy this clone command. Go to git bash, paste it here. Yeah, it's now cloning. It's 100% now, it will be 97%. Yeah, it's hundred percent. Go to the D drive, refresh. You will see that the uh, Git GitHub clone is done. Now, move ahead with the next step. Okay, now let's just move ahead with the second step, uh, in which we are going to connect to Postgres using Docker, right? For that, you need to make sure that your Docker desktop is up and running to do so, right? Uh, okay, let's get started with the step two. 
okay here i am i'm just uh, opening the visual studio uh, for moving ahead code dot yeah yeah it will open the uh, repository in the visual studio code here yeah i'm going to go to the data bootcamp bootcamp okay for the terminal okay history store clear C -L -E -A -R. C -L -E -A -R. okay okay it will open this okay you will get to see the okay for now we are in the zack t okay uh, you just need to uh, okay moving ahead uh, you need to uh, navigate into the clone repo in the command line so you just need to copy this go to go here and just paste here it will uh, get us to the model one right so here you are going to do or follow the commands going forward right so you, you could get to see here that we are in the data engineering workbook and here we have a, a environment file available with us you could find this here and just make sure the host port is changed to 30 5433 instead of 5432 in order to avoid any conflict and you're good to go right so for this uh, for moving forward we need to do uh, do some uh, commands we need to do follow some commands i have created that file here at first we need a uh, docker command in order to uh, make up the docker okay in order to uh, way okay make that docker up for us or create a new container for us right so i'll just paste that command here i'll enter it will run this uh, run the container for you it's stating starting yeah it's get started uh, you can see that uh, in docker itself this dimensional data modeling and this instance are running for now right so we'll get to see that uh, the next command you need to do uh, in order to see, you need to get the uh, container id for that this is the command go to vs code paste that command here you will find the container uh, that right now is running that container id and this make sure this status is up and running right so i need to just copy that okay before that i need uh, need one more command i'll copy this command i'll do this okay uh, just uh, you need to just replace this uh, id with your with your id whatever the id you get okay i'll do this i'll paste here and i enter it will uh, give us a root access now okay now we we what we need to do we need to go to the postgres we need to open the pg admin uh to do so i am using pg admin for you know to access the tables uh, present in the data dump okay it will take a little time to uh, up and running As you can see here, the PG admin is up and running. What you need to do is you need to click on click here, add new server. Provide the details. I'm going to give it here. The name to for the instance or server is new. And I'm going to connections here. You need to provide the uh, local host as the host name or address. Make sure the port name you change to the host port that we have changed in the environment to 5433 enter the password postgres and make sure that uh, all your username and password are same uh, just save this yeah it will create the instance for you as new and if you open this you'll get to see the database in which we are going to use the postgres database go to schemas here you will find the tables that we are going to work with right so but for, for now this tables the tables are not here we need to get those tables uh, uh, here for that we need to do one more command 
we need to follow one more command i'm just copying this command here pg restore go to vs code here as you remember that we are in the root for root directory just paste that command uh, it will it will uh, create the uh, tables for you yeah it is creating the tables for me let's get started We're processing those kind of things once it's done you'll get to see those tables present in the pj admin instance so go here as you can see here the uh, tables are great created go go here click on postgres refresh now you will see the tables are reflected here the total number of tables are nine okay just go any one of this query tool and do one command select star from uh, let's say i'm using games G -M -E -S, right yeah. i'll just run this yeah it's run and that that is we are connected connect uh, we are able to fetch the data and uh, this, everything is working fine now uh, this is how you are going to do your setup okay once you finish with your postgres ins instance uh, or playing with the tables or following the lab sessions or doing your homework you need to make sure you can you stop the docker compose container instance uh, by using command docker compose down dash v uh, let's see how you can do this okay now in the vs code uh, in order to go back to the docker uh, compose container instance what we need to do we need to uh, get get uh, out of this root directory for that uh, we have a command exit i guess yeah it 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 exit and we are now in the docker instance uh, back and now here you need to paste that command for this i'll copy this command i'll go here and i'll paste that command enter yeah it, it will uh, down the com containers for you and if you go back to uh, docker desktop you will see that the instance is now removed that's it do follow this once you done with the postgres instance